fitting for them. But yeah. listen, you, you've got to win this game between the lines. It, it's, it's not about what's on paper. paper it's between the lines. Throw, such a cut through. And think about it. In the first Tokyo Olympics, they were undefeated in pool play. And they got shocked in the semi. So it's like, oh, yep. so heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Walked away with a bronze in Tokyo. Walked away empty-handed in Paris. Now Serbia start the second half of their season. As Carlos Martinez, he lets his wrist do the talking. The silent assassin with a splash. Bronquila to the crib. Let the lay as Serbia will respond. Nice pass on the cut. De Blas will draw the foul. Late call, but the right call. And that's going to let us know how Spain behaves against a very hungry Serbian team. That's going to let us know how ambitious they can actually be in this competition. We already see them as, as a dark horse, but I told you, and I think you remember me saying it, them finishing potentially top of this group will let us know how they're going to transition into favorites. Koyic drops it off. Doc Strange set for takeoff. Fear the stash. 2-2 two -two game. Oh, nice jab. Mendicote drops the shoulder. And I kind of agree with, uh, with Dr. Strange there because the one reducing the distance is Mendicote and Strahinia is fading away from contact. So he's, he, you see the, the offense being rewarded for pushing away the defender that is trying to avoid that contact. But it is the way it is. Well, ball don't lie. Mendicote will miss on the free throw. Uh-oh. Things getting testy. Franquila having some extra words with uh, Audio Echea. Second one in 10 seconds. Audio Echea is going to learn something about this business in 3x3. Matching up with the, the experience and trickiness of the Serbian. They know all those tricks, all those little details. They wrote the book on them. <laughs> Chef Koya, what he got cooking? Oh, you know what he got cooking. I don't know what it is, but it smell good. Chef on Koyic hits a deuce and then gets a rest. It's As a douche with a splatter of net burning. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's, that's what happens when he shoots that thing. <laughs> Martinez. Oh, what a nice. pass. What a pass and what a finish what through a... contact. No, oh, the that... dish. Listen. And the, and the seal, Barac making Oreo Cochea look like a little boy in the paint. And that's not an easy task. Listen, why, I got to see the replay on that Doc Strange pass. The Sorcerer Supreme with a magical setup. But on the entry feed, Barac's work keeping Oriol Cochea in his back. Clash of Titans in the paint. Look out for all those little details, guys. You have better angles than anybody watching us live on YouTube. Make the most of those moments. Good defense. No hesitation from Martinez. He will miss it long. Yep, that's yeah. a push. Oh, yeah, clear. Clear push. Koi, it's not, not one to be pushed around, but a little bit too physical. Let's get physical. Number three on the all-time scoring list for 3x3. Number three. Is yeah. one Stefan Kojic. In the professional, in the professional scene? On the pro, yeah, on the pro tour. On the pro tour, man, what an accomplishment. Only, only his second appearance uh, at the Europe Cup. Right, right. First right. was last year, adding him to the roster and obviously uh, ending in goal. Was not his best tournament last year, but he's having an incredible pro season in 2024, averaging just under eight points per game, right around 40% from long range. Around comes De Blas. Oh, nice block. Oh, Doc Strange levitated. Doc Strange with the D. Everything is hard for both teams. 
The fight for every inch makes you feel like you're in the oh, middle. Martinez, my, my, my. Of any given Sunday. You fight for that inch. 5-5 five, five game after that last deuce or dos from the Spaniards. They want another one. De Blas, not that time. Not the best choice, obviously. He could have taken a better shot, and he had enough time to keep working the ball around, Kyle. Look at the defense first from Doc Strange, but look at this shot. That was like Chef Curry. I agree. But that that, 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 that se shot selection from De Blas is a little bit of it's a show of frustration. He got his shot blocked previously. He hasn't been able to find any inch, any space to get his shot going so far. Obviously, Serbia is well aware of his shooting ability. Physic yeah, physical game, too. Yeah. We got two Olympic officials maintaining this one, and Najib Chajadin and Brigitte Chabai Koshkutu. So familiar with uh, mm. intense games like this. As we are tied up, five apiece, not for long. What's shaking? The rim now. The big boy, Ivan Orokochea, rocking the rim for the Spaniards. A 6-5 lead. You don't believe me? Look again. Uh. Doc Strange, beautiful, drops it on, oh, and a beautiful finish oh, yes. as well. The Serbian machine is functioning full speed. Minda Kote to the rack. We talk about toughness. Hey, listen, I am impressed with Spain. I'm impressed with both teams, yeah, sir. Both teams playing well. Nobody home. Leave a message at the beat. <laughs> Bronquilla with the lay. Oh. Two is on the way. When it rains, it pours thunderstorms in the forecast for España. As the two ball has been critical for them in this two-point lead over the top seed. Spain is looking like a team fighting for gold potentially in this Europe Cup. You're seeing a level of intensity to which Spain is responding greatly with a lot of composure and patience. You're, they're showing this greediness that the most experienced and battle-tested teams show usually, Kyle. You've seen that from the Latvian. You've seen that from the Serbian. You've seen that from the Lithuanian. We've never seen Spain at such level of competition, neither in the World Cup or Europe Cup, being able to battle this type of intensity out with such stamina and, uh, I want to say, even kill. Poise. Yes, the poise. Poise, poise is the word that's exactly that you're looking for. You're right. We've seen it from the Spanish women. But the men's team have been in a the lab. They've been building their program, trying to find the right mix of players. Yes. Angelo, I think that they might have found that right mix in front of us right now. Oh, this, man. This, is Spain, this Spain team have the makings of a potential podium team this year. I really think that highly of them. Oh, yeah. I mean, to me, you come out alive at the top from this group, you're playing for gold. You're looking on, on, on only at gold. Obviously, any medal would make them happy, but why not the best? You're fighting already against the best. Well, we'll find out how this one uh, plays out, but a win for Spain would put them... Uh, you send a message to everybody. Oh, without a doubt, because you, obviously you know that Serbia is coming in here hungry as a pack of wolves with the Olympic disappointment in their rear view. But you're talking also about the defending champs under this actual setup. You're talking about the roster that brought gold. You're talking about some of the most accomplished players in the history of our sport. Reigning, reigning um, World Tour MVPs, third leading scorer in the history of the World Tour with Kojic. You're talking about Barac and, uh, and Brankovic, who are not only battle-tested, but competing for the best team in the world so far. So, brother, I love what I'm seeing in this game. I love what I'm seeing from the German Young Bucks. It's, uh, it's the group of death. And it's great 3x3 action that we're witnessing here's, so far in day two. Here's some of that action that we've seen up to this point. The reason for the delay, by the way, is we've uh, got a little bit of a technical issue with the in-arena scoreboard. So please be patient and bear with us as our staff will uh, get that taken care of. In the meantime, just look at some of these friendly faces uh, in the venue tonight, checking out the action. 
Hope you got all, have also been checking out the uh, the uh, the wheelchair European Championship. Oh, so much fun. Yes. Yeah, so the IWBC has been going on simultaneously with uh, with the 3x3 Europe Cup. It has been uh, it's been fun to watch. So between uh, our breaks, stick around and watch uh, some of that action too, and show some love. But uh, credit, credit FIBA for creating that platform to kind of witness, you know, other athletes and getting a chance to shine, setting some new standards in terms of inclusion in a sports competition. Again, that's the IWBF European Championships. Yes, sir. It's too bad that we got a technical problem right now because it's gonna, it's it's gonna impact the rhythm and the intensity of this game, it's never easy to kind of press the the, 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 the on button, yeah, yeah. Uh, back on and just pick up right where you left off. And whoever is gonna be capable, is, is going to, to be capable of um, keeping up with what was being on display right before the break could potentially actually get that break. Yeah, it's been like an action film so far. But is the mission impossible for Spain? We'll find out. Did you get that? Action film, Mission Impossible? Yes, I did. I just, I just wanted to throw that one at you and see if he was still up. <laughs> do I look, do I yeah, look, you look okay? You look all right. You look all right. I have a question for you, Kyle. Um, tell me something. Do you have a feeling that anything would be missing from this Spanish team? No. Nope, I don't think they're missing anything. Right. They, they got shooting, and, and Carlos Martinez hasn't shot it the best, but he's 40% on the world tour this year, and, and you, you're not going to see him dip below 30. He can get it done. This young kid, De Blas, I think is going to be an absolute, he's a star in the making. The size that they have underneath with uh, Otto Cochea, and Mendicote is a dog. He, he's the he's the ruffian that likes the physical contact and get to the rim. So they got uh, penetration. They've got shooting. They I, got defense and athleticism. Well, I'll just say the little little thing that could be the X factor is if the Blas adds a little bit of playmaking off pick and rolls to to his game. That will really propel. Oh, boy. That's pick and roll 101. Welcome to class. <laughs> Serbia giving lessons, still trailing by one. Carlos Martinez will miss fire long. The battle for the board out of bounds. And I believe off of Serbia. I didn't see the, uh, the, the signal. No, actually off of Spain. I'll tell you one thing, there's a whole lot of hugging and grabbing for that rebounding battle down low. Oh, nice. A bunch of brates and hombres. <laughs> brates here. and hombres. Boy, like that. You will miss it right. <laughs> Nothing but glass. Oh, Doc Strange might be in trouble. That's going to be three seconds, sir. Yep. You got to make quicker decisions. You forgot about the rule. Yep, three seconds back to the basket. Back to the basket. Look at the save there. Number one uh, from Doc Strange. But yeah, if you uh, initiate a dribble with your back to the defender, you got three seconds to pass or shoot. Otherwise, a three seconds back to the basket violation is the result. That two attempt from Koyich results in a miss. It's stolen by Doc Strange. He lost it inside. Diesel Beautiful. out to Chef Koya. No. Chef Koyich right now missing out on the great opportunity. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Switched up real quick, doesn't it? He erased that like your browser history. <laughs> Koyich. You thought you had a friend, didn't you? Well, you always get betrayed by the people closest to you. <laughs> De Blas, no sir, late in the shot clock. That's why you saw that wild shot, quick ball movement here from the Serbians. Kojic trying to get some freedom. He will hail Mary it. It is received, touchdown. That's the way you lob it up to a diving teammate, especially when you got no help side in the back. Martinez, just spectacular. Floaty, that's that was softer than your linens. 10-9. 
McCoy, it's redirected. Seeping through the cracks, and he's foul. No argument there for Martinez. He says, yep, I did it. It's the fifth. But look at Carlos Martinez, the silent assassin, killing them softly. One thing that Serbia has managed to get that Spain hasn't found yet is open shots. They haven't knocked them down. Oh, up high. It's high impact, no whistle. Strange one and one. He won't waste time arguing oh, his stop case. It. Stop it, Kyle, stop it. He's an assassin, and he's shooting like he's got a scope on that weapon. The crowd does not let us hear that sound. Oh, look at look at this. But it's contested. The defense is painted on him, and he gives him a facial. Apricot scrub. 12-9, Spain. Great pass. So we talked about system play earlier. Serbia don't get rattled. No. They stick to the system. Yes. They're not going to get into a two-point shootout with Spain. Oh, no tips. That's better anyway. Doc Strange. Oh. They're doing a great job getting buckets off the dive, but they need to find a way to stop this man right here. This man right here, Martinez. Keeping Spain up top. Oh, stop it. Stop it, Kyle. Stop oh, it, Kyle. He got it falling like autumn. Carlos Martinez has gone loco in this game. Spain leading 15-11. Koyic, Badac. That should have been a basket interference. And that is the call. So the bucket will count. Can you contest any better than, than what Serbia is doing on Martinez? I'm asking you seriously, Kyle. No, you cannot. But I mean, come on now. You can't, no, not, not much more that you can Look do, this. honestly. But Carlos Martinez, he's he fading left off balance. And Serbia is doing a great job executing on offense. It's not like they're not getting the buckets they want. But the problem is, and you know the math, two is always worth more than one. And that's the reason why Spain stays on top for three. But they're playing the perfect game. They're beating Serbia right now. You cannot execute any better for Serbia offensively. And you're contesting as hard as you can without committing fouls. Martinez, what else can you do, brother? Nothing. He's not the only shooter on this squad. But Mendicote will misfire that time. Oh, he froze him. Ain't no refresh button. Takeoff time for Doc Strange. Oh, the steal. Thievery. Diesel. Ooh, technical. Oh, technical. I, I think that's going to go. A I, I kind of agree, though. They interrupt the play. There is a layup. You got to you got to let the basket go before you give that technical. I don't know how. What do you think, Kyle? Because there is a steal with a wide open lane. It's a bucket. It's a layup. And you whistle the technical. Yeah. OK, so the ball will stay possession of Serbia. The layup obviously is not going to be counted, but the, the whistle, well, I don't know. Well, I, the technical against against, against uh, Spain. Against uh, Martinez. That, yeah. I'd have to agree with you. I th I think, like, it's a layup. Yeah, I, th I think uh, the play should continue then. I mean, you can then still the, give that call, but yeah, to me, be assessed. not canceling the, uh, the layup. Got to agree with you there. Doc Strange has not had his best shooting year as he is under 30% from two range. Behind the back, slick with it. There's a dish for you. Hey, he didn't finish it. The the Serbia glass. still has one foul to give. Mendicote, great body control on that lay. The man is tough. Man, what a game. Koyic, uh-uh! <laughs> That's a naughty block. He spanked it. Man. L look at this timing. But... That's deflating. Right, but Literally. Kojic is the one that enabled the Blas to find that timing. Has he slowed down a bit too much? Mismatch City. Jump hook, too strong. Look at the hustle from Spain. He's got as a two-on-one advantage. Spain putting Serbia to the test. 
The two officials will have a discussion. Let's figure out exactly what is it is about. I gotta see that replay because we're talking about whether Baraj had control of it. He does not have control of it. So a warning defending yeah. in the semicircle, which is officially known as a delay of game warning. So Serbia will take back over 239 and counting. And again, with no day on my Storovic uh, for the Serbians. Oh, Mendicote! Mendicote! Tell me, baby, can you stand the rain? Spain with the ball to potentially eyes this thing for good and finish top of the group. Oh. Kyle, do you smell it? Do you smell it? I don't know. The blast. Do you That's smell the it? The game. The blast for the game. Spain shocks Serbia. They will go undefeated day two and got it done before the limit with a flurry of two balls.